Hello students and welcome to my channel MathSub. So in this video, I'll tell you about the solutions of a non-homogeneous CD rule number four. So let's see what is rule number four. So in rule number four, we have a product function where one function is an exponential function e to the power ax plus by and the second function can be any function in x and y. So what does the rule say? The rule says replace d by a and d dash by b. So when you make this replacement, exponential term will move out and we are left with the function phi. So whatever function is phi, depending upon that, you need to solve the particular solution. So let us try to solve this question. So we need to solve d squared minus dd dash minus 2d dash square into z is y minus 1 into e raised to power x. So homogeneous solution you can calculate very easily. So the roots will come out to be 2 and minus 1. So we can find out the complementary solution as f1y plus 2x plus f2y minus x, right? Now let's come to the particular solution. So we have pi as y minus 1 e to the power x upon d squared minus dd dash minus 2d dash square. So you can see that it is an exponential multiplied with a function of y. So according to the rule, we will replace d with d plus 1. And d dash will be remaining same because there is no term of y present here. So e to the power x will move out and we are left with the denominator function as d plus 1 whole square minus d plus 1 into d dash minus 2 d dash square into y minus 1. Right. So let's open up. So when we open it up, we will get the terms d square plus 1 plus 2d minus dd dash minus d dash minus 2d dash square into y minus 1. So you can see that there is no power of x, but the main target is that we shift the denominator to the numerator with a negative sign and we try to make it in the form of a binomial, right? And it is necessary that the leading term should always be 1. So you can see that in this expression, we already have a 1 here. So how can we write it? We can take this term in the numerator and we can write it as 1 plus. I'm separating this 1 and writing the rest of the terms as it is. 2d minus d d dash minus d dash minus 2d dash square raised to power minus 1 into y minus 1, right? Now if you check the terms, the terms should be dependent on y. That means if there is any derivative present with respect to x, that will automatically become 0, right? And the power of y is 1. That means we only need to expand till power 1. So e to the power x is there, 1 minus plus nx, right? So that will become minus of d square will become 0 because there is no terms of x. 2d will also become 0 because there is no term of x dd dash will also become 0 because d will make it 0. So now we have minus d dash. So minus d dash will become plus d dash. And then we have minus 2 d dash square since the derivative is carrying sign double derivative and we have y minus 1 double derivative with respect to y will become 0. And subsequently when you take the higher order terms they will all become 0, right? So we are only left with 1 plus d dash multiplied with y minus 1. So now when we open up the brackets, we get e to the power x, y minus 1 plus derivative of y minus 1 with respect to y is 1. This gets cancelled and we get e to the power x into, right? So let's add up the two solutions. So that will give rise to the complete solution for the PD, right? So this is rule number 4. So that's all with the video. Thank you so much for listening. So if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Have a nice day.